Hello. I didn't test anything. <laughs> I didn't test anything before this. So I hope everything's working. Hello, everyone. Let me become smaller. <clears throat> Hello, welcome. Happy Friday. I'm wearing my glasses, so the tracking might not be very good. That's okay. Maya's here. Thank you for coming. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Uh, we're back at it again with copy talk. So let me bring that up. Coffee talk. Did I say coffee cup? All right, this looks good. Did I? Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> so the head butler, he ordered me some alcohol. I wasn't expecting to drink tonight, but uh, I did. So. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm a little not there. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm normal. Wiggle it off. Wiggle it off. I'm normal. <sighs> Alright. I didn't do any testing. I just turned on the PC and brushed my teeth. <laughs> I'm a VTuber. I'm not normal. Okay, fair. <laughs> I also realized um, I didn't enable the microphone option. Let me look on my VTube Studio. Just looking at it really quick. Somewhere here. I was like, oh, your obsession of vampires is going on again. Oh, no. I'm a vampire. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, you're valid. That's not, that's the opposite of a problem. All right, let's play the game. All right, we last played. Oh, my goodness. Wait, what? Have I not played the game since April? What? <laughs> I haven't played a game since April? <laughs> Grams is saying it's a good obsession. I mean, there's worse obsessions out there, you know? Yeah, time flies. I did not realize it was two months. My bad. And I still need to go back to Neo. Whoopsie! <laughs> think Miss Ioni's gonna be upset? I don't think so. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> ah, Alright, here we are. Oh no! Seems like we're out of ginger. Ah! <clears throat> I'm still recovering from my cold. So I also have that going for me. I'm sorry if I sound sick. Oh wait, I forgot. I forgot to get my water. Hmm. I'm gonna get my water. <laughs> I forgot. Let me one second.
Okay, I'm back. I got water. Mr. Hyde, welcome! Speaking of vampires, we got Mr. Hyde here. Do not remember the voice I gave him. Um... Hello, Leo. <laughs> is today a special day or something? Why? Why do you think? Why do you think that? It's like six nine. Nice. <laughs> it's nice to see you again. You're just gazing at his Edward Cullen face. How are you? Ah, well, I'm just here. How about you? That's a very Maya answer. You seem. A little preoccupied. Right, sorry about that. I just learned we're out of ginger. <laughs> I literally <think> we're real. <laughs> oh? I made a mistake on the weekly order sheet. <laughs> and the remaining roots I have are no longer fit for consumption. Hut tut. Sounds like a rookie mistake, Leah. I know, I'm ashamed. Our storage system is having problems because of the recent first power surges. Alas, I'll stock up at the farmer's market tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. You're really busy as usual, I see. Yes, well, nothing wrong with a slow day or two from time to time. Although, it's been quite a week if I may say so myself. Oh? Well, I'm listening. Par pardon? You're weak. Tell me all about it. Oh! Slow day when you're missing ginger! <laughs> Hmm, I'm not even sure where to start. Try anywhere. After all, there's no way for me to correct an unheard story, am I right? Right. Well, ooh. <laughs> well, the most notable problem recently would be the severe thunderstorms. Sometimes they cause our powers to short out, which messes with the machines. So, in case it happens again, my apologies. I see. Warning duly noted. There has also been this ongoing car vandalism in the neighborhood. Apparently, there is a serial deflator of tires on the loose. Officer Georgie was the one who informed me about it. Oh, customer. We've also got a lot of new customers. And I think that's about it. Sounds eventful, even if not terribly riveting. Now, regarding the car vandalism you spoke about... Well, I drove here. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <clears throat> to what extent should I be concerned about it? Hmm. <laughs> I know. You should have flown here. <laughs> if vampires could fly. I wish I could inform you of confidence. Unfortunately, I don't know much about it, so... I can answer that. Just gave Georgie a completely different voice. Georgie kills my voice, by the way. <laughs> well, you live in Seattle, so worry a lot. Well, it's not Detroit. We'll take that. There's nothing to worry about. Your car's gonna be fine. Officer Georgie, welcome! We were just talking about you. Hey, Leah. I managed to track and narrow down the Vandal's strike zone, you see. Cause the culprit seems to have a favorite spot. Really? Now you're gonna be walking home looking, looking a sponge after wa washing the dishes. I mean, yeah, that's true. Yep, eh, it's nowhere near here. Miss Riona told me her car was affected as well, by the way. 
That so, if she comes back, can you ask her where she parked? Will do. Appreciate it. Anyway, my investigation's still ongoing, but I'd say this area is pretty safe. So you can relax. Unless you park somewhere else and I got nothing to say. <laughs> I need to stop laughing because that makes me like more <laughs> wheezy. <clears throat> I see. Anyway, good evening, y'all. Sorry for blocking the entryway earlier. I was finishing off my last cigarette. Officer Georgie! What do you mean your last cigarette? You're smoking one right now! <laughs> tipsy Leah is not funny, Leah. I'm not tipsy. <laughs> okay. Because it's time to start a new one. Okay, fine. Dude, Officer Georgie, you're gonna get lung cancer. Not at all. Mr. Hyde, meet Officer Georgie. I guess you guys haven't met before. He's in charge of the night patrols around here. No, I'm not drunk! You know. No, I drove home. <laughs> anyway, um, let's look at my phone really quick. It's fine, multiple reasons to die from. What? Oh, I mean, fair. Oh, we made friends of, of Hyde. Look at him. Looking good. If I may say so myself. Look at that streak. No, don't! I got home safe. Alright. So, I was in a vegan restaurant, and a woman said that she knew me. Which is weird, because I've never met her before. <laughs> her, her before. <laughs> I'm not distracting you, I just said it. I feel like this is finally the right time in my career to either write a book or challenge a professional boxer, so... <laughs> that was a pretty good one, I think. Mr. M. Lloyd Fay Weather, are you available like this Sunday? Myrtle. Currently cooked on this mecha tactic game. The mechanic is very interesting and inspiring. Good night, sleep tight. Cute! I'm so excited for the secret project, you'll see. Girl, your like tank top is almost the same color as your skin. <clears throat> uh, some French. La voix elle, test à voix le étui. <laughs> you thought it was a dude? Well, Rachel got her short, her, 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 her hair cut short. I could understand why you thought that. It looks like that one guy from Genshin. Tignari? I don't know how to... <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but you know that dick mean boy. Alright. Your phone was like... Far away. Oh, got it. Cheers! I think there's a way to also do like a listening only mode if that might help your data. Officer Georgie, meet Mr. Hyde. Our occasional guest from Los Angeles. Oh, wow. No, you're good? Okay. A friend of Mr. Gala. Oh, the big hospital guy. Then I guess I've seen you around a bunch. A Los Angelino, eh? Is that what they call them? I don't know anything about this. <laughs> Not for much longer, though. Oh? 
I'm in the process of finalizing my move back here of my modeling agency. Wow, that's wonderful news! You lived here before. Mm-hmm. For about 40 years. When did you move to L.A. then? Uh, about 20 years ago. Right. Huh. <laughs> well, let's just say I'm nowhere near as young as I look. Ooh. <laughs> Models. Vampires. Gotcha. <laughs> then, as a native Seattleite, let me be the first to welcome you back. We got smog and dour skies. But at least our coffee is second to none. Right, Leah? I'll let you be the judge of that. Thanks for the warm welcome. Then, have you all moved in already, or...? Mm, not yet. Preparations still need to be made at the property I've chosen. Chosen. I wouldn't even think of packing until it's halfway done. Makes sense. It's Seattle, yeah. That being said, I'll be here till we see the construction for a while. Wait, you're building a house? What? <laughs> what do you mean oversee the construction? Man. Money, got it. If you ever ever need blah, 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 blah. if you ever need help, let me know. He's a Cullen for real to have a spa water. Can't do much by myself, but I can find a few guys who can. Although it won't be necessary, I appreciate the gesture. It's funny. What is? Quite frankly, the police force and I had something of a... Mm, contentious relationship in the past. Uh-oh. Was it a slap on your wrist and let's call the day type of thing, or... The catch you catch me kind? You know, I am kind of big. <laughs> like, if you look at how small Officer Georgie is, look at how, like, broad-shouldered Hyde is. Holy cow, hi. <laughs> All I can say is, live long enough, you'll try everything. Those are bygone years, of course. Are you sure? <laughs> that, that, that. So, does anyone want something to drink? Naturally. Yeah, we talked this long about a drink. Even I drink something. After you. Well, a public servant should put the citizens first. So, after you. How idealistic. Don't make me pull out the gun, vampire. Uh, but I insist. After all, I'm still considering my options. Well then, in that case... What will it be, officer? Just give me something nice, Leah. Are you alright? <sighs> Not that great, honestly. What happened? Never mind that for now, I got a question for you. Did you, by any chance, see a lighter lying around? Oh yes I did! Oh! Yes I did, I have it with me. Whew! That's a relief. Okay Leah, listen carefully. I need you to take this very, very seriously. Uh, okay. I'll need that lighter back, okay? Okay. I mean it. I need it back. Or this streak of bad luck won't end. Pardon? Uh, just talking to myself. Let's give me a letter. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I understand. Appreciate it. Would you like anything to drink? Just black coffee for me, please. But lightly sweetened. Lightly sweetened coffee. Hmm. What does that look like? 
Um, copy, copy. Hey! Oops, excuse me. That was a hiccup. If I have startled you. What is it? Alright, I hope he doesn't hate this. Finally! Hello, old friend. Thanks, Leah. I suppose I owe you an explanation. You're transcending from lightly game to cartoon drums? <laughs> no, I just hiccup like this. That's my normal hiccup. <laughs> <clears throat> Did I read that line? I can't remember. I told you before, right? This lighter is my lucky charm. When it goes missing, my luck gets really dicey. Almost got hit by a falling fan at work. Broke the Mrs. Mrs. Favorite mug. Nearly swerved my car into the sidewalk because a black cat jumped into my lane. A black cat! Not even a raccoon. I swear I'm not making this up. Look at his face. Did not realize he was looking like this. If that wasn't a sign, I don't know what is. And, well, daughter is still mad at me too. I don't think that's a bad luck thing. I think that's just a personal problem. Anyway, glad to have this back. Thanks for keeping it safe for me, Leah. You're very welcome. Here's your sweet coffee to sweeten your evening, officer. Cheers, Leah. That really hits the spot. Oh good, he liked it. You found that on Rumbler, didn't you? Lua calling out Bailey's. <laughs> I don't even know what it says. Wait, what's the other thing I didn't miss? We got sweet coffee. We got to find out Georgie's birthday. June 1st. Oh, it's his birthday recently. I'm glad to hear that. Sorry. Recalibrating. <laughs> Ready to make your order? Hmm, not quite. Do you have any suggestions? Ah, hmm. We have a couple of new teas if you're interested. Oh. They're butterfly pea and hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus, huh? Not an ingredient that's easily palatable when used in a hot beverage. Perfect. Make me something of it. Are you sure? We are missing some ingredients tonight. Do you have any specifics in mind? I'll let you choose for me. Just make it red and who knows? Uh oh. Maybe it can be my new Ludwine. Maybe. Ludwine. <laughs> One second, my headphones are on low battery. I haven't charged it since like... Um, two weeks ago? My bad. What's a little stream without a little scuff, you know? Or what's a stream without a little scuff? Alright. That wasn't too bad. Ah. 
Blood wine. It's a fake blood cocktail I used to get here. Back when it was still a bar. Ah, I see. Make me a bold red drink. I'd like to see what you can come up with. Ah, I'm so sweaty! I'm sorry if you heard me, like, squeaking on the seat. <laughs> ah, it's so hot! <laughs> I hate summer. Okay, okay. Mm. He wants a hibiscus drink. Bold red drink. What about lemon? Lemon hibiscus. Do you a service? You're having dinner? Okay. This isn't red, so it's not gonna work. Honey? Ooh, it's super red. But maybe it's not what he's looking for. <clears throat> How about cinnamon? You forgot the wallet at your house? Uh-oh. Hmm, not this either. So, what do you want me to do? Want me to order food for you? <laughs> no, okay. No, I feel like I'm not doing this right. Hmm. How about mint? He said make him a bold red drink. Just be hibiscus? Hmm. Oh! Sorry. Loading. May I try this like pure hibiscus? The most hibiscus drink in the world. It has a, a flower petal in it. Yeah, that's true. Well, let's try this one. Here you go, sir. Just a straight up hibiscus drink. Something red. S <laughs> I'm afraid he's gonna say, this sucks. <laughs> so, this is the drink you thought I might like. Um, honestly, I'm not entirely confident, but this is the best I can do tonight. Looks peculiar enough. Hmm. How is it? It's tart. Astringent. D do you like it? You tell me. Ah, and I was looking forward to it. No! I let him down! <laughs> Alright. So he doesn't want straight- st he doesn't want straight up hibiscus. Yes, yes, I'm reloading. Um... A bold red drink. Look at all these different hibiscus drinks. Alright, so I tried... Don't disappoint them. Also googling. Okay. Yes, you can claim him. I I don't have eyes for hide anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna keep tr trying different things. How about le- oh. Hibiscus, lemon, and mint. Did I try that already? I can't remember. Lemon, mint, hibiscus. No. Would it change if I put it in a different order? No, it's the same thing. Hmm... 
Hibiscus. Cinnamon. What day is it? Uh, the 23rd. I think. Try cinnamon, honey. Nope. How about lemon and milk? We do have cinnamon. <clears throat> do you mean ginger? Is he looking for a drink of ginger? Ah. Uh, so I'm gonna disappoint him no matter what? Dang. Man, hard man to please. You got a husband, all right. Um. You gotta give him a key card, though. Okay. It runs in the family. This one? Hmm? That's Gala's, isn't it? The apartment key. I see, so he lost it here. In fact, he called me this morning, asking if I was in the city. I didn't tell him I was in Seattle, though. It was... so the call was surprise. Why did he call, you ask? I didn't think anything. Well, simply because I have a spare key. Oh! <gasps> Maya. <laughs> you might have some competition. <laughs> uh, I'll take this off you and bring it to him then. You support him. Good. I'll be sure to let him know. Thank you for looking into the internet for me. Alright, thank you. Here you go, sir. Something red. I already read this. Hmm. I'm sorry! He can do whatever he wants. I'm sorry that it isn't what you expected. Where's my theory stuff? Let me put it on. Wait. I'm sorry! <laughs> I couldn't remember the key for it. I look too happy to be sad. I'm so sorry. Astringent, causing a tra contraction of skin cells and other body tissues. Ooh. Well, you did what I asked. So, no need for apologies. Next time, you can try making me something that doesn't taste like hay juice. In other words, gross. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it needs some boldness. Something that can leave a mark in me. Okay. <laughs> okay, hi. There is only one hibiscus drink that I have enjoyed. I'm curious to see if you can come close. I will try my best next time. Something of ginger. Hmm. I'll have to try to find out next time. Welcome! Hibiscus of ginger. Hey, kid. That, that, that. That, that, that. It does sound nice. I want to try that. Mm, there. I think I, I, I think I remember the voice I gave him. Damn. Oh. Oh, dang. Hello, Leah. Pops. Nice to see you again. What's up? What's going on? 
what's going on with you? Me? Oh well, nothing, nothing much. You know what? Let me move over there. <laughs> uh oh, it's picking up the outside noise. I think. There we go. Sorry about earlier. I was <laughs> preoccupied. No problem. Is everything all right? Yeah, of course. I'm always all right. Always. Okay, that's like something that a person who's not all right would say. <laughs> because I'm a very lucky dude. Speaking of luck, did the lady ever come back? Miss Riona? Yeah, she did. I have to cry for help if I've ever heard one. For real. Really? Did you manage to give her my stuff? I did. I gave her your written contact info. Okay, okay. Cool. <sighs> she didn't throw it away, did she? As far as I know, I don't think so. Great! You trying to reach the soprano, Wiles? That's right, Pops. I still feel uneasy about how that day went. So I just want to apologize to her. Or something, you know? Okay. <laughs> just okay. <laughs> so I guess I just have to wait for her to contact me, huh? Uh, I think so. Yeah. But what if she doesn't contact me? What would, that, what would I do then, bro? <laughs> What should I do? <laughs> that's basically what he said. Then that's that. That's her choice. You can't make... Hmm... You know? I'm trying to think of the words when I'm sleepy. <laughs> what should I do, bro? <laughs> You're so right, Pops. Didn't think of you as someone who'd have reaching... Who'd have trouble reaching out to people like this. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, it is what it is. Okay then, now wait. Okay, Maya. <laughs> Any hoodle? Wait, I love that. Any hoodle? <laughs> Should I start using that now? I love that. Any hoodle? <laughs> Any hoodle? <laughs> Any hoodle. <laughs> it's just me and Maya here, right? It's fine. I can laugh about any hoodle. Wait, focus? Okay, okay, sorry. Where was I? <laughs> any hoodle. It's nice to see you again, Pops. Likewise, kid. Hello to you too, er, sir. Dot dot dot. Hi, it's, it's hide. Dot 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 dot. Oh wait, he might recognize him. Wait, so you're really that hide? The supermodel hide? A big shot, eh? <laughs> oh man, oh boy. I never thought I'd randomly see you in a place like this. No offense to you, Leah. <laughs> well, I follow your socials, man. Big fan. Can I call you bro? <laughs> I especially love the timeless- ah! <laughs> Thank you for the bonk. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm actually pretty proud of the bunk. <laughs> yeah, I made it a newspaper roll in case you can't see it. But I think you can. <laughs> Alright, where was I? I especially love the timeless series you did for Boundless. Hmm. That's an old one. Boundless. It was a lifestyle magazine, no longer in print. Because everything is online these days. What was the series about? 
It was a photo series I modeled for. A bit of an avant-garde shoot. They were originally set to be displayed in a time travel themed showcase. Alas, the exhibition fell through. So, they were rethemed and put in the magazine instead. Yeah, those were awesome! Hmm. I liked how the series showed peak fashion through the times. Yet the designs were so contemporary. Timeless, even. Pun intended. Wink. I want to see him wink again. Is he not gonna wink again? No. Wink. I'm trying to wink. Wink. <laughs> My eyes like not having it. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Wait. Let me show you a couple pics from it. Please. I want to see it. Ooh. Hyde looks great there. Colorless or not. What the heck? I like that hairstyle. Oh, wow. Looked amazing, Mr. Hyde. Not like you don't look amazing now. It's not what I'm trying to apply. Still do. Of course. <laughs> Looked? It was so cool. It inspired me to find my own style, too. I'm partial to the 80s inspired look myself. Really? I can't tell. It, it's my jacket collection! <laughs> Glad it helped. I did enjoy experiencing some of those times again. Even if, if only in garment form. You like said man, you're wearing a supreme jacket. I can see that. <laughs> He's got the money to afford it, too. Even if I was left with a melancholy feeling. But, I digress. Hmm? Would you like to order anything? Oh yeah, of course! Oh, by the by? Is pure matcha supposed to make you feel woozy? P pardon? I tried drinking some before lunch a few couple of days ago. I felt a tad nauseous. Did you have breakfast? Nope. It's really strong tea, so it still shouldn't be consumed on an empty stomach. Ah. That was the main takeaway from our conversation, wasn't it? Duly noted, thanks. Then, can I get a pumpkin latte? Ah, uh, sorry, we don't have that here. Ah, uh, for real? You know you don't need pumpkin to make it, right? Oh, I've heard that before. Yep, but I have an open mind. Wink. I just don't want anything plain tonight. How about making me something based off a pumpkin latte with what you have? All right, that's why I just send him in milk. Hold on, let me look at my phone. Supermodel. Vegan vampire professional model. Oh, another one. You've ever been jamming on good songs, then your earphone died off? Well, I've never had that, cause my ear, ear fod it's amazing! Get yours here. Kimodo pod. Huh. You're gonna catch these? What am I gonna catch? One second, I gotta blow my nose. Alright. <clears throat> These hands? Okay. Maybe I want to. <laughs> that one just came up, so he probably posted that when he came in. 
Did I save already? Saving again. Alright, so he wants coffee, milk, and cinnamon. Cinnamon latte. That looks right. A cinnamon latte. Warm and sweet. Just for you. Sounds good. Mmm, mmm. Good call in the cinnamon. It is the star spice of the fall season after all. Oh yeah, you're right. Like pumpkin lattes. The warmth cheers me right up. Thanks, Leah. Don't mention it. I got a good review! Nice! That's what my uh, achievement says. Self summary on a short break to refresh and wreak havoc on return. Post your recs on my channel or my sub. So, what's the matter? Huh? Why do you need cheering up, kid? Oh, about that. Just the usual work stuff. <laughs> A few disagreements here and there, you know. Any working team will eventually have them once or twice, right? Right. What do you do? I'm a vlogger slash influencer. Oh. <laughs> I review a lot of lifestyle things, like fashion, places, food, etc. on the social media. Sometimes I do skits and such on my channels too. And pranks also? Or sorry, and pranks also? No, no, Pops, ha! Huh? No way! Real talk though, I actually hate pranks. Pranks are for losers! I didn't say it before, but I hate them. A lot. Lucas reeks of Logan Paul. I hope not. I hope not. Is that so? I just think they're the lowest form of entertainment. Is that so? Is that what I said? <laughs> Just cheap thrills at the expense of others. Right. But yeah, getting off topic here, sorry. So, you're essentially the creator and the host of your quote-unquote show. What does your team do? My team helps me edit, secure sponsors, and massively boost the production quality. They're great! I owe them lots. Do you think you're doing well? Yeah! I mean, I think so. We get by pretty well. Hmm. I currently reside in LA. For real? I did too, before I moved here. Why did you move? Why I moved? Haha! <laughs> Uh, I mean, because I hated it there. <laughs> That's pretty sus, bro. Just gotta say that. Not to crap on where you live, sir. I just think LA is not for me. No offense taken. Why did you hate it there? He got pranked, bro. It's a long and stupid story. Trust me, you don't want to hear it! Actually, I do. Anyway, sorry for the tangent. You were saying? I've been noticing an influx of newcomers there. They're loud, young, and brazen. Just like you. Pathetic! <laughs> y yeah! The fact that you're able to make something out of yourself, out of such mundane nonsense. I'm the hedgehog! I'd say you're doing pretty well. So, what's the issue? Well... 
talked about my channel situation here before, right? Black and white and gloomy. <laughs> yeah, you said your views were dwindling. Calling it dwindling might be a bit overkill, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's why my team and I are trying to figure out what to do. Trying to keep the show fresh, you know? Truthfully though, I've been wanting to change show change the show's direction for a while now. I even promised myself last year. Once I got a certain number of viewers, I was just going to do it was that 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 well uh i've always wanted to do a talent showcase segment you know so i could help elevate others like me others like you yeah like the soprano lady from before oh i'm getting st st stuffy again so one second ah it's the cold is coming for me Like those dwarf actors and actresses in TV shows. still muted whoopsie <laughs> thank you Maya where would I be without you <laughs> all right where did I go like those dwarf actors and actresses in TV shows I'd be muted for another hour yeah we all actually kind of have something in common you know what it is I'll make it easier for you. Think about satyrs, for example. Leah, when you hear about us, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Hmm... Don't think too hard now. Just say anything off the top of your head. How about you, Pops, sir? Probably partying, recklessness, alcoholism, or a joke, right? Is that what you think? Nope, but that's what most of society thinks. You know, I went out shopping today, and I totally forgot to get medicine for my cold. But I also thought I was healthy. <laughs> I thought I was healthy enough, so I didn't have to get more cold medicine. Oopsie. In the same way, society views Lady Riona as bad luck to personified. All just because she happens to be a banshee. Besides... Society is awful at judging people. The immediate trust they have for those who have money. Compared to those who had to start from zero. You should go back to the work. Oh my gosh, you're in a break room? Ooh. Yeah, go work. It's okay. Thank you for keeping me company. You know what I mean? I mean, I get it, you know? You're still gonna watch? Okay. <laughs> yes, you can listen to me talk to myself. Oh, dinners? Yay! Etiquette, social cues, and awareness, that sort of thing. 
What nurtures you when growing up reflects these things? What is Lucas talking about? Am I just tired? <laughs> he's talking a lot. I'm just like, what? Okay, he's talking about society. Etiquette, social cues, awareness, that sort of thing. What nurtures you when growing up reflects these things. Okay, I guess. This last part, I didn't quite get what it's trying to say, but I, I think I do now. Yeah, society. We live in a society. <laughs> yeah. That's what most people like to assume anyways. Society sucks at judging people. Fair enough. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot. I don't know how I'm gonna stream in the summer, man. <laughs> And like, I get it. Nobody has any time to learn about everybody. So, we go by impressions. But as someone who started from zero and now, the difference on how people treat me is so damn stark. So damn stark that it doesn't feel all that great, you know? Of course. So yeah, I wanted to carve a space in my work. A place where I could give exposure to those who might not get it otherwise. Hmm. Then, once again, then I must ask you. What is the issue? That, that, that. My team thinks my segment idea is too risky. Don't fix what's not broken, they said. They just want me to improve what I've been doing. And do you agree? Dot, dot, dot. I mean, they're not wrong. The risk is real. After all, I'm not responsible only for myself. I've got a whole team depending on me now. <clears throat> That's why I'm trying to find a compromise. At least until we become so big that any changes won't affect us as much. Will the world wait for you though, I wonder? Huh? Will the world wait for you to be ready? Have you ever asked yourself that? Um... You see, making choices is always a matter of priority. As you grow, your stake increases, along with your responsibilities. As such, your excuses will continue to pile up. But... Ah, given the pace at which you're going right now... I see your idealistic dream is unlikely to be realized. However, if it's enough for you to just have good intentions, well, that's another story. That that that. That that that. Well, a little blunt, aren't we? Well, that's what I like Hyde because he just says it like it the way it is. Am I wrong though? It is a perspective. You know, one of many. I admit, I don't know much about the shop bit. <laughs> He's like me for real. I know. <laughs> I don't know much about the internet. Oh my gosh. I'm getting so stuffy now. <laughs> I might have to stop after to this day. <laughs> ah! Entertainment biz. But you've gotten this far, boy. Because all along, you've been motivated by that specific goal in mind. Ain't that right? That, that, that. Yeah. That's why I wouldn't dismiss his intent so easily. He's, well, you're probably just a bit lost right now. Do you think I should have been gentler then? Nah. I needed the whipping. <laughs> well, that's a way to put it. Those words were hard to swallow, but I needed to hear them. Are you okay? Uh-huh. Well... There's a lot I need to think about. So, I should go. Nice seeing you, Pops. And uh, thanks for your advice, sir. 
Leah. Thank you, too. Hang in there. <sighs> yeah. Y'all, too. See you around. Whoop. I've stayed too long already. So I better go do my work now. Wait, I gotta check my phone then. Before the day ends. A cinnamon infused cafe latte that uplifts you with its warmly spiced aroma. Yeah! So ready to tuck into bed! <laughs> I did my best today and I hope you did too! Kinda cringe, Rachel. Don't wanna get my pay docked, you see? Nice meeting you, Hyde. We'll see each other more often soon, I'm sure. Hopefully nothing work-related. Have a good night, officer. You too, Leah. Be safe out there, officer. Will do. Until next time. I suppose I should leave as well. I'll be back before long, though. Please do! Hmm? Something wrong? Looks like the office forgot his lighter again. No! <laughs> it seems our officer accidentally drops it again. It exudes... Ex exudes? Exudes an interesting feel. Oh, what a curse. Oh no, you're right. I'll keep it for him, thank you. Alright then. Have a good evening yourself, Leo. Safe trip out there, Mr. Hyde. Jahe Tebruk. Ooh, it's from Indonesia. In Ginger presides over the co ground coffee at the bottom of the cup. Sunday, September 24th, 2023. I hope I finish this game before it becomes September. <laughs> um, Inu, Mimi, and werewolves may share common ancestry, archaeologists say. Wait, there's Inu Mimi out there? <gasps> My brethren. Lionfish invasion decrease, a successful trial. Countries to block foreign entry amidst unknown livestock bacterial infection. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, we're done. I am still a sick bean. <coughs> Alright, let's move on over here. Oops, I'm in the corner still. My model goes so funky when I drink water. Nice work! Thank you! Thank you, Maya, for coming. Watching me play one day. I'm bouncing! <laughs> I'm still so happy about this model. <laughs> well, now that you're so big. Yeah. Yeah, now that I'm so big. Martino. Hi, big bro. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the throw stuff at me, Maya. <laughs> oh, that was a way to end the stream. <laughs> I am big. I can throw more stuff at myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh my gosh, Heck Butler is here! The redeem is so funny. It's my best redeem, honestly. Head Butler is here! <clears throat> Wait, when did Head Butler get a first redeem? Or not a first redeem, a first subscriber badge. Did you do that? <laughs> you don't know? Then, okay, I guess someone gave it to you. <laughs> oh no! So you got the first subscriber badge and my has a coffee cup. That's okay. Well, we're starting- we're ending the stream early. Ah oh, well, yeah. I didn't realize the badge was only limited to the first 10 subscribers, otherwise I would've let you know. Let you- would've let you known before. But it's okay. You're first in my heart. Don't mind the head butler. He's not first in my heart. <laughs> Oh well. Oh well. I like how it's sad, but I still look so happy. <laughs> da -da. I forget which faces I have. I don't use these enough. Okay, I'm having fun. <clears throat> so what's this about ordering them alcohol, head butler? Yeah, head butler. What was that about? Now that you're here. Huh? <laughs> I was telling Maya earlier, I was like, I drank some alcohol tonight because you ordered me some when we went to the restaurant. It was grapefruit juice and some kind of alcohol I haven't heard of before. And soda. Like carbonated water? And then we got like two margaritas. I don't like tequila. So, I drank a little bit of that one. It was just soda, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, nothing too bad. Maybe you drank more than I did. Oh, sorry! Head butler. <laughs> Who's Mimi? You're right, I don't know who that is. Well... <laughs> we actually do some social drinking. Yeah. <laughs> that emote is so good. Oops. The Fruity Pebble ones. That was really good. Thank you for the throw stuff at me, redeem my... <laughs> I think it's so funny because that's like the etiquette is to thank people for redeems. But it's like, thank you for pelting me and giving me a con concussion. <laughs> <clears throat> I appreciate that very much, thank you. <laughs> it's just a kaiju at this point. <laughs> kaiju? How dare you. <laughs> Hi, Jew. <laughs> I just thought my mouse does this now because it's so fun. <laughs> hmm. Don't test you. Don't test you. 
Why would I ever test you? <laughs> I just look like I'm crying from laughter. <laughs> Thank you for the for the <laughs> Big. Oh, this is as far as it zooms in. Phone on me. One second. Oops, I zoomed in again. I know how to do technology. Let's see if someone's streaming right now. Um. You gotta go back to work, so you just wanted to hang out? Fair enough. No, we haven't in a bit. I'm glad you were able to hang out. It makes me happy. Muted. <clears throat> I don't think I am. Hello, hello, hello. I was just being quiet. I was? Oh, hmm. Let's see. We'll raid. Amanti. Amanti Otto? He is playing Overcook 2 with some friends. Oh, it's moving its mouth? That might have been me the tracking kind of being messed up because I was looking at the other monitor. Alright, we're gonna do a little raid and see. Say hi to Amanti. Have a good night! Thank you for coming, Maya. Thank you for popping in. Head butler. It was a fun stream. I'm sorry I was sick. <clears throat> I will be better for the next one. Good night! Thank you for the head pat. Alright, take care. Bye-bye. Love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you.